selling is much harder than buying. Selling is very difficult to get right. I think the 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 bar for selling needs to be really high. So you can't look at one quarter or one year or even two or three years. I think you have to be very convinced that the business is in permanent secular decline. So if the business continues to get better and the valuation is continuing to get richer, the mistake I made in most of my career is I was not willing to hold because I felt it was too richly valued. And I think that was a mistake. So I think the question to ask is, is the business getting better or not? If it's getting better, give it a lot of leeway and room. Keep it in the portfolio, even if it looks expensive. Now, if it gets egregious, you know, like crazy, like you know, you bought it at fifteen times earnings and it's hundred times earnings or something on, on on normalized earnings, and you can't really justify that number under any circumstance, then yeah, you can look at possibly moving on. But I would say that you would be served very well by being a very reluctant seller of great businesses, regardless of valuations. And also not wanting to sell businesses that appear to be not doing well until there's absolutely conclusive proof that it's not salvageable. The business has gone into decline. So if we go back to the Rakesh example, it didn't really matter what he did with 96%. Irrelevant. What really mattered is not selling Titan. And Titan went through many ups and downs over that period, which is what was remarkable is he stuck through it throughout because he was able to look through the long term. And that's what you have to think about. You have to think about the business as if it's a family business, as if you own the whole business. And what would you do if you own the business and it's been in your family for 50 years? And what would you, how would you think about it? That's kind of what the mindset needs to be.